hey guys welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome here we are with day two candle day haul now i did not go in as hard as i did yesterday because i did have to wait for this specific collection to drop i did pick up like one or two extra ones that i wasn't expecting to get when i say i am so happy i shop on day one when i say my store had the scraps left my store was almost wiped out like you could tell where they were like filling in spots where candles were yesterday with like body care and single wicks. It was crazy. Now it wasn't crowded. Um, it was definitely less people when I went yesterday at six in the morning. I'm so glad I went today at eight. I just happened to check to see if my store was open and they were, because if I would have got there an hour earlier, the collection that I was waiting for, the gourmands to drop, there was a very limited collection. Like as soon as you walk in, it's like two podiums where they where they have like the candle drop candles and stuff like that as soon as you walk in and they had a few of each scent so i didn't go crazy because as i walked throughout the store i saw that a lot of people were like asking for certain things and they're like oh it's sold out you can check online and they were like oh it's sold out online and some people was just like i wish i would have just came yesterday so I didn't want to take up all of the gourmand candles. I did want to leave some for others to get, but I definitely secured the amount that I wanted to get for the candles. So I'm going to give my cold sniff impressions. Let's get into this haul. So before we jump into the gourmand collection, the two random ones that I picked up, I ended up grabbing a mahogany coconut and this was at the register. So while I was waiting, I saw a couple of candles that were up there. I saw cedar and suede, which I had before, but I did swap it out when i had it because the projection just wasn't enough for me beautiful scent but the projection was lacking in the bedroom and i was going to get it but then i was like you already exchanged it once so obviously you wasn't happy with it so i left that there to get mahogany coconut once i determined that mahogany coconut is more of like a earthy coconut type of scent it grew on me so this has sent notes of creamy coconut mahogany woods and english lavender I always get one of these to try out each year to see how I'm going to feel about it. So this is the, the year that I decided to take the gamble and get it again. And it also has that pretty like a uh, rainbow colored like tie-dye type of packaging on it like fresh cut lilacs and white tea and sage. So I went ahead and grabbed this because this was low in stock in my store. Then the next candle I decided to pick up that I didn't purchase throughout the time that this candle was dropped yesterday they had about five i had it i put it back and then i saw they restocked it some more so i was like this may be the last time i see this candle in my store so let me go ahead and pick it up and it's no other than the happy hanukkah candle i had wildberry ube with this and i kept smelling them this one just smelled better to me even if it is a repackage of wildberry jam donut the jam note that i get in this i liked more than the wildberry ube so i left wildberry ube behind and picked up this one so this is the only one that i have and i will be burning through it this month so i'm glad that i picked this one up so if you watch my previous channel then you know i am not the biggest fan of gourmands i just started getting into gourmands this year so when you see that i backed up something that means to me it was pretty good on cold. So the first candle that I backed up from that collection is none other than the white chocolate macadamia. I did see mixed reviews on Instagram on this candle with people doing a different cold sniffs. But one thing I will say, if you are ever unsure about something, smell it for yourself. <laughs> smell it for yourself because... From what I saw this being described as and what I smelled, it, it, it wasn't given what I saw on Instagram. So, white chocolate macadamia has chewy cookie filled with crunchy macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips. So let me tell you what's going on with this candle. On cold sniff, I get a dominant macadamia nut note, which I like. I want that macadamia nut to stand out with this candle. However, you would think this being white chocolate and macadamia, it would be heavier on the white chocolate. And to me, I'm getting more of the nuttiness. So if you like um, your gourmands with nut notes or you like nutty fragrances, then this one is a good one to pick up. Um, I'm not getting too much. I get white chocolate is there, but to me, the macadamia, I'm not going to say it overpowers the white chocolate, but it's definitely more at the forefront than the white chocolate. And then this is a cookie. 
So it's not like just it's not like just straight, just plain white chocolate mixed with a macadamia nut. It's like some type of bakery element in there, but it's not heavy on the bakery. So hopefully when I burn it, the white chocolate will come through more and it'll smell like, you know, like a baked cookie in there. But I will be reviewing this. I can't wait to light it up and let you guys know my thoughts on it. But to me on cold, it smells good. The next candle that I decided to grab and back up was the hot pink cocoa candle. Hot pink cocoa has scent notes of sweet ruby chocolate, whipped vanilla cream, and raspberry sprinkles. And I get more raspberry with a chocolate background, like a chocolate undertone. So the chocolate does not overpower the raspberry note in this candle. It smells delicious. I hope I like it when I burn it, but on cold, it smells good. I'm getting more of like a cocoa powder with the raspberry note. So it's not like hot cocoa and cream mixed with a strong dominant raspberry scent note. So I'll be reviewing this for you guys to let you guys know my thoughts on it. But on cold, it's a nice balance to me of raspberry with the chocolate. The chocolate note doesn't overpower the raspberry in this candle. The next candle that I grabbed and grabbed a backup of is the brioche French toast. Brioche French Toast has scent notes of fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. Now, I did catch Tiffany Vanessa's live as she was in the store picking up this collection. I have to agree with her. This is more of a brioche bread. It's not a super syrupy, artificial French toast fragrance. To me, on cold, this is an authentic upscale french toast it's not too heavy on the maple syrup because you know some maple syrup notes can be so strong that they come off artificial smelling it's a good balance of maple in this it's not too much cinnamon on cold you do get a butteriness but the brioche is more of a brioche bread versus like a regular bread that you would dip in egg and then put it on the griddle to make the french toast so I will definitely be reviewing this one for you guys in case I liked it. Because when I first sniffed it, I was like, oh, that bread note. I don't really like like French baguette. I didn't like that candle. I'm not like a bread or bagel type of <laughs> like when it comes to foodie scents, it has to have something cinnamon or something sweet, a fruit note or something with it for me. So when I first smelt the bread note, I was like, mm, we just going to get one. But then I'm like, it may be delicious when you're burning it. And then I like to blend my candle. So this with a nice coffee scented candle, Paris Cafe, or the next candle that I'm about to go over, is probably going to smell amazing. So I went ahead and backed this one up. And then the last candle of that collection, which happens to be my favorite based off of the cold sniff, is Caramel Frappuccino. O-M-G. I purchased three, these two and the one that I set on the candle table. Caramel Frappuccino has scent notes of rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. Now, I don't know if this is a repackage of whatever candle it was called in the past, something cold brew or whatever. I liked it on cold, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This definitely, I love caramel Frappuccinos. Whenever I get a Frappuccino, it's a caramel one. I love caramel fragrances when they're done right. I don't like those overdone, artificial, too sweet, syrupy, sweet caramel fragrances. But this, mm -mm -mm. and I feel like when you burn brioche French toast and you light this one up, you could light brioche French toast up with Coffee House from Goose Creek or Paris Cafe from Bath and Body Works. But once I do my review, I plan on blending this one with the brioche french toast candle it smells authentic to a starbucks or a coffee house caramel frappuccino i don't get any sourness from the froth milk note in this candle at least not on cold it's a nice amount of caramel in there it's not overdone and then you get that nice like brewed coffee like a cold brew mixed with the caramel amazing on cold so i can't wait to review this for you guys that is all i have for my day two candle haul i was hoping that the all is calm collection would have been out in store today um but i'm kind of glad it wasn't because then i was able to get backups of this collection 
When I tell y'all I do not do gourmands like that, they're not at the top of my list. But when it's a good one that I come across, I wouldn't steer y'all wrong and hype something up if it wasn't all that great to me. I feel like the burn will reveal how great this collection is. But so far on cold, to me, I don't smell anything off-putting in any of these candles. Um, all is calm in my store probably will not drop until after candle day, which I'm okay with. The $9.95 price point is great to get candles, but I'm okay with if it's a $13.95. $14.95 is pushing it a little bit, but between $12.95 and $13.95 when that collection drops, I believe it was only about five or six different fragrances that I wanted from that collection. I'm just going to have to be patient and wait um, because I feel like if my store was going to have them out today would have been the day to put them them candles out because my store barely had anything and i feel like they're going to need candles after candle day to put in those spots where everything is like kind of selling out so i completely understand it i'll be patient um i have more than enough candles honestly i am thankful because at one point i thought i was not going to be able to participate in candle day let alone start up a new channel due to other financial responsibilities that came up. So getting a big chunk of my candle day list out of the way for the $9.95 price point, I am content with that. There is no complaints here. I enjoyed my candle day. I hope you guys did too. I'm burning Candy Cane Culotta now so that I can get that review posted today as well as Clausmopolitan and hopefully Top Shelf Elf. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye.